first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to their brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Okay? And I mean that with 100% of everything I am. You know, which is of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. This is Matthew 6 and verse 24. Red letters, Yahweh Shai speaking. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve the most high in mammon, which is money. All right. So these celebrities, if one knows, they all know. These niggas are bought and paid for. So you could take what they say with a grain of salt, even though Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is using everybody for his purposes. And if you understand that, you understand that. Let's move on. Verse 25. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life. What ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor, uh, nor yet for your body. What ye shall put on is not the life more than meat. See that? And the body than, than raiment. Verse 26, behold the fowls of the air, for they saw not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? You see that right there? So I got this clip. You know, we need to clarify, you know, what we post. And this is, you know, not against any brother or nothing like that. But I got this clip from my beloved brother, you know, Azana Moth. Okay. And I went into this briefly earlier about uh, <clears throat> what uh, Kyrie Irving uh, posted, you know, on his platform or whatnot. Just a post. Now, bear in mind, you know, excuse my voice. It's real early in the morning. It's like four or five o'clock, something like that. Whatever. Scripture said meditate day and night. And that's what we do. Here at Great Millstone, but uh, he posted uh, from uh, what was it from Hebrews to Negroes or something like that. That was his name, Ronald, Ronald Dalton. Okay, which these yeah, these dudes got half truth, man. They really lukewarm. They one foot in, one foot out. Okay. Now you cannot serve God and Mammon, which is money. So if you're gonna say something, if you're gonna say something. And if you know what the truth is, you better be in 100 percent into it. Or else you how about some y'all shots going to spew you out of his mouth. See that? He's going to spew you out of his mouth. Proverbs 18, verse 10. OK. The name of the Lord, Yahweh, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. The what? The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Yahweh. Yahweh. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Our Savior. Okay? It's not Elohim. Excuse me. You know, uh, what did he say? It's not yet. No, he said Yahweh. It's not Yahweh. It's Yahweh. And he knows what it is. He knows what it is. These niggas are bought and paid for. All right. So, in you know, in one manner, we can take what he says with a grain of salt. But but again, Yahweh Bashim Yahsha is using these people to get this truth, you know, uh, to, to stir up these uh, damn devils, man. And really, honestly, nobody is stirring up these damn devils. You know, these Edomites, Amalek. Like the true prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Israelites, the ones that are out there on the highways and byways, speaking the one hundred percent truth. See, the one hundred percent truth. Let's go here. Titus one of verse eight. But a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, 
temperate. Verse 9, holding fast the faithful word as he had been taught. See that? Of whom I learned from daily. You see that? Holy fast the faithful word as he had been taught. That he may be able by sound doctrine. Both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Verse 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers. Especially they of the circumcision. You see? Especially they of the circumcision. Uh, uh, uh. Kanye, uh, Ye West, or whatever the hell he wants to call himself, you know, and, and his buddy, uh, 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 Jay Z, he calls himself Jehovah, you know, Kyrie Irving, uh, uh, the, all these damn rappers, what, what's his name, uh, uh, Kodak Black, what's the other dude, don't call me black no more, I'm an Israelite. These niggas are full of shit. Excuse my French. Let's read that again. Verse nine, holding fast the faithful word as he had been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine, both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Whose mouths must be stopped. Who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre sake. OK. So, you know, hey, uh, all that uh, fame and fortune. And then he and, then he, uh, and, and, and what, what they find themselves coming up against the, uh, the, the, the firing squad. You know, which is the small hatters because he reposted. Something that's on another small hatter's platform that he's making money off of. But nobody went to uh, uh, Mr. Bezos. You know who I'm talking about. Nobody went to him and said, why you got this on your platform? Why are you promoting this? Why are you promoting this? He's making money off of it. From Hebrews to Negroes. Did you really have to make a movie? When the prophets, when the, when the brothers, you know, and teachers are exhorting one another daily and trying to bid you to the marriage and telling you, just read the book. But see, it's not for everybody. As the scripture said, the election has obtained it and the rest were blinded. See that? Verse 13, this witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be, uh, set, uh be sound in the faith scripture said the just shall live by faith 14 not giving heed to jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth whenever something comes out whenever anybody says anything about these small headers it's always some some anti shim Resorting back to the, the, the Holocaust. Never going into the scriptures. Never. You know, you see, never going into the scriptures, never. Okay, now. When when your whole life and your whole existence, fake ass existence is predicated on the Bible and you never go into the Bible, that makes you a damn liar. You see? You see that right there? Not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. Verse 15, unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. Did we have to make a whole nother book to validate our existence? No. The scripture said, yeah, how about you? Y'all shall put it right there in the book in Revelation 11 and 11. And he said, after three days and a half, I'll put my spirit back on my people. And they shall do what? They shall stand upon their feet. You know, the scripture didn't that scripture in particular didn't say that. But there's other scriptures that said so. 
They should stand upon their feet and what in great fear fell upon them that saw them, right? Like a bold lion, man. This is not about, uh, this is not about uh, entertainment. This is not about this or that. This is not about accusing uh, them accusing us day and night, but they, w which they do. This is about the damn truth. And if you can't see it, you can kick rocks because this is for the elect. This is for the elect. And you have a right to Zah, I'm a part of that number. You see? Along with you brothers that's doing this in truth and sincerity, according to all the ability that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua has given you. And these words are coming from a real honest place. The most honest place, my heart, which is your mind. Okay? Unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and, uh, and, and, and can, uh, conscious. Conscience. I don't know what that word is. Like you, you know, it's early in the morning. I don't give a shit. It's defiled. Okay, they profess that they know the Most High, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. See that right there? Damn reprobates, man. <laughs> Let's go here. Revelation 3 and verse 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm, my son's name is Elohim, and, and uh, I've done my studies, and uh, I saw Hebrew to Negroes, and, and now I understand. I've got a whole army behind me. You, I got a whole army behind me. You, you supposed to be the part of the army. The Lord a host, his true army. What is that? What do they do? They fight. This is a spiritual battle. And you know what, brothers? We winning. Call her law. Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh We winning. See, unto the pure, all things are pure. Whether they think it's good or whether it's uh, whether they think it's bad, no matter what. So then. They are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot. I will spew thee out of my mouth. See, he got to be careful so he don't lose his bag. You understand? He got to be careful so he don't lose his bag. It's the same with all the rest of them. You know, and they trying to make it look like, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Kanye West is losing everything. That nigga got $11 billion. Although they can take all that away from them. Matter of fact, it's getting ready to come down to the MOT to the BBBB. So when they decide to cut off that damn chip. See hip, Salakia, I said it. They can just cut the shit off. You lukewarm Israelites, man. I know who I am. That's not good enough. Scripture said, do the work of an evangelist. Make sure proof of thy ministry. See? Revelation 3 and verse 15. And, uh, through 16. I should have went, I should have went there first. Salakia. I know thy works, and thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work uh work cold nor hot. Let's read more of that. Okay. So I read this before. I'll read it again. Never hurts to read it twice. Verse 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Scripture said, uh, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. You know, the brother Hawad said, get out of my face. You see? And no, uh, I'm not adding to the scripture. And he, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's not neither. Just a, a personality thing. That's all. All right, let's play this clip. It's a title given to Christ, Philippians 2.11. And my name translates in the Hebrew language as Yahweh. So I went on the Amazon Prime. I was like, you know what, let me see if there are any documentaries on Yahweh. So went in the search bar, typed in Yahweh. That came up. Went out and shared it on my platform. That was my night. 
in terms of the backlash or what people call it, uh, we're in 2022. History is not supposed to be hidden from anybody. And I'm not a divisive person when it comes to religion. I, I embrace all walks of life. You see it on all my platforms. I talk to all races, all cultures, all religions. And my response would be, um, it's not about educating yourself on what Semitism is and what anti-Semitism is. It's really about learning the root words of where these come from and understanding that this is an African heritage that is also belonging to the people. Africa is in it, whether we want to dismiss it or not. So the claims of anti-Semitism and who are the original chosen people of God and we go into these religious conversations and it's a big no-no. I don't live my way like that. I don't live my life that way. Excuse me, I grew up in a melting pot and I say a melting pot of all races, white, black, red, yellow, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, and you can see the way I live my life now. I'm not here to be divisive, so they could push their I don't want to say they, because I'm not identifying any one group or race of people, but I'm in a unique position to have a level of influence on my community. And what I post does not mean that I support everything that's being said or everything that's being done or I'm campaigning for anything. All I do is post things for my people and my community and those that it's actually going to impact. Anybody else that has criticism and obviously wasn't meant for them. Hopefully I'm understanding what you said and I, I want to make sure I get it right because I don't want to miss quoting part of it. I don't expect understanding from a media conglomerate group that sincerely talks about the game of basketball and then we bring up religion as if it's correlative at times when it's convenient for people to bring it up. So please just be direct with your question right. so we can move on from this and I can talk about the game and go home to my son Elohim and my wife Marlene, okay? Am I to take it that this was, the, what you shared, was not something that you've even watched? This was, you did, okay, you did watch it or either watch it or read it. I had a lot of time last year to read a lot. Read a whole bunch. Good and bad about the truth of our world. So then do you, I guess, understand or not understand those that might imply that that work had anti-Semitic leanings in it? Right. And I only ask this because the tweet is... There, so I We're in 2022. It's on Amazon, a public platform. Whether you want to go watch it or not is up to you. There's things being posted every day. I am no different than the next human being, so don't treat me any different. You guys come in here and make up this powerful influence I have over top of the adultery of oh, you. You cannot post that. Why not? Why not? Everybody posts everything else. You saw the word nigger going up on Twitter, right? I don't hear uproar of that. I'm not here to be divisive on what's going on on this or that. I'm not comparing Jews to blacks. I'm not comparing white to black. I'm not doing that. That conversation is dismissive, and it constantly revolves around the rhetoric of who are the chosen people of God. And I'm not here to argue over a person or a culture or religion on what they believe. No, nah, this is what is here. It's on a public platform. Did I do anything illegal? OK. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did I do anything illegal? Did I hurt anybody? Did I harm anybody? Am I going out and saying that I hate one specific group of people? So out of all the judgment that people got from me posting, I, I just, without talking to me, and then I respect what Joe said, but there has a lot to do with the not ego or pride of how proud I am to be an African heritage, but also to be living as a free. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right, you see? He's really full of shit, man. And if he understood, if he really truly understood, yeah, he's got his beard and all that. All right. He would have uncovered his head. And, and don't allow these damn, you know, whatever, man. You know, allow these uh these, these uh, devils to control you like that, man. Again, if you're a true man of the Lord, put away all that. Put it all away. Depart. This is not our rest. Depart. Put it all away. We got a more sure word. The scripture said, in my father's house, there are many mansions, man. What you have on this side, yeah, you can have a, a Maybach, a, May, a Maybach, or whatever had you want to call it, a Ferrari. You can, uh, you, can, you can drive 15 cars. You can have 15 mansions. You can have 15 hoes. You going to take it with you in the kingdom? You have any idea what Yahweh Hashem Yahshua has created for us? The ones who what? Sigh and cry in the streets for the abomination that, that is done in the midst thereof? Psalms 
1 39 verse 17 how precious also are thy thoughts unto me O Yahweh how great is the sum of them see how great is the sum of them look at this gift he's given us verse 18 if I should count them they are more in number than the sand when I awake I am still with thee verse 19 surely thou will slay the wicked O Yahweh depart from me therefore ye bloody men see because that's what we doing we try and get the blood up off of our hands man if you really didn't tell the 100% truth according to the scriptures then there is no light in you and you didn't get the blood up off your hands man you kept you kept that blood right up on your hands Ark. see you didn't do what Yahweh about Shem Yahweh told you to do. You know, and again, I say, I'm going to say it again. You able-bodied men that's able to do it, if you can, you know, hey, pray to Yahweh about Shem Yahweh for the strength to go out and teach. You see? The scripture said, pray for it, man. He, man, he didn't give us a spirit of fear, man. We don't know what the hell's going to happen out there on the highways and byways, but go do it. Do it. Do it. Yahweh Bashim Yahusha said he delights in the foolishness of preaching. He delights in that. You know, these demons will pull at you sometimes and say, you ain't got to go out today. You ain't got to do it. You don't, you, don't, you don't screw all that. He put the spirit up on you. Sometimes you don't feel like, you, sometimes you can't hardly stand up. Your voice messed up. Your body messed up. You know. I'm, I'm wearing a knee brace right now. Yeah, yeah, uh, whatever. Woe is me, my ass. This is our reasonable service. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Verse 19. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked. Oh, Yahweh, depart from me. Therefore, ye bloody men. All right. What do he say? I don't hate, I'm not, I'm not going out and telling, uh, uh, and not telling, and telling people that I hate a certain of people. Yahweh Bashim Yahusha said he did in several different verses. He said he had war with Amalek from generation to generation. He said, do I not hate Esau and love Jacob? Did he not say in second Ezra 6 and verse 55 that these people of 56, that these people are like a drop that falls from a vessel? Did he not say that these people are nothing? Did he not ha say he hate them with perfect hatred as I'm getting ready to read? Verse 20, for they speak against thee wickedly and thine enemies take thy name in vain. See, thy what? Thy enemies take thy name in vain. I can almost guarantee you Kyrie Irving has heard the name Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the names of the father and his only begotten son. The perfect. You know he's heard those names before. You know that. You know he's heard those names. Why, why he say Yahweh? That's not his name. He wants to talk about going back to the, uh, the, to the, to the, to the language. Yahweh is not his name. And again, I'm not, you know, I'm not coming up against him. I'm just saying. You got to speak the truth. If you're going to say something, damn it, don't be lukewarm. All the way to hell in. You can't put one toe in the water and say, oh, that's too cold. That's too hot. I like it just right. No, you're going to get all up in this. You know, the scripture said, eat this whole row, right? For they speak against thee wickedly and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Uh oh, what's uh, 21 verse 20? What does this say right here? Let's read this. What does this say? Do not I hate them O Yahweh that hate thee do they not hate him hmm to be a friend of this world is enmity with the most high do they not hate him you two turds <laughs> as the brother says I love it you know you two turds two thirds you know and the enemies alike hmm do not I hate them, O Yahweh, that hate thee? And am I not grieve, uh, grieved with those that rise up against thee? 
Verse 22, I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them as my enemies. What did that say? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them as my enemies. Search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Mm -hmm. And see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. It's only one path. It's, only, it's a straight gate, man. OK, you can't be lukewarm. You can't be in and out of it when you want to. You see. See, we don't have to answer the uh, the, the, the true men of your We ain't got to answer to these damn devils, man. But that's what happens when you get wrapped up and you made a covenant with the damn devil. Amalek. Now, who runs who runs all this shit? I don't even I don't even know who the hell he plays for. I don't you know, I don't watch sports like that. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Who runs all this? Your enemy. And if you know who it is, why you damn make a covenant with him? Because you lukewarm ass niggas. Okay. So you how about Shimon Shah got everybody in the trick bag. Let's go. Check this out. Guys, come in here and make up this powerful influence I have over top of the adultery of oh, you. You cannot post that. Why not? Why not? Everybody posts everything else. You saw the word nigger going up on Twitter, right? I don't hear uproar of that. I'm not here to be divisive on what's going on on this or that. I'm not comparing Jews to blacks. I'm not comparing white to black. I'm not doing that. That conversation is dismissive, and it constantly revolves around the rhetoric of who are the chosen people of God. And I'm not here to argue over a person or a culture or religion on what they believe. No, nah, this is what is here. It's on a public platform. Did I do anything illegal? Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did I do anything illegal? Did I hurt anybody? Did I harm anybody? Am I going out and saying that I hate one specific group of people? So out of all the judgment that people got from me posting, I, I just, without talking to me, and then I respect what Joe said, but there has a lot to do with the not ego or pride of how proud I am to be an African heritage, but also to be living as a free black man here in America, knowing the historical complexities for me to get here. So I'm not going to stand down on anything that I believe in. I'm only going to get stronger because I'm not alone. I have a whole army around me. Kyrie, while we're on the topic of promotion, why did you decide to promote something that Alex Jones said? That was a few weeks ago. I do not stand with Alex Jones' position, narrative, court case that he had with Sandy Hook or any of the kids that felt like they had to relive trauma, or parents that had to relive trauma, or to be dismissive to all the lives that were lost during that uh, tragic event. My, my post was a post from Alex Jones that he did in the early 90s or late 90s about secret societies in America of occults, and it's true. So I wasn't identifying with anything of being a, campaigning, a campaignist for Alex Jones or anything. I was just there to post, and it's funny, and it's actually hilarious because out of all the things I posted that day, that was the moment post that everyone chose to, chose to see. It just goes back to the way our world is and works. I'm not here to complain about it. I just exist. And to follow up on the promotion of the movie and the book. Can you please stop calling it a promotion? What am I promoting? Put it out on your platform. But I'm promoting it? Do you see me doing, do you see By me in front of the, out there, the title? putting it out there, people are going to say that you are yeah, promoting. Yeah, put it out there just like you put things out there, right? Yeah, but I. Okay. I, it's not you put stuff. things out there for a living, right? Right, but my Great. stuff is Great. not so let's move on. filled let's with anti-Semitic. Let's stuff. move on. Don't dehumanize me up here. I, I'm not. I'm not doing I'm that. You're human free being. to post. I can what, post whatever I want. So say that what, and shut it down and move on to the next question. But Kyrie, you have to understand that by I don't have post, to understand anything from you. But, but it's nothing. not me. Nothing. By posting no people what that you're making did. up, bro. Move on. But by posting move what on. you Next question. Anybody Next question. Do you guys have any more questions for me? They're gonna say, Do you guys have any more questions? Because this is going to be a clip. Beliefs. This is going to be a clip that he's going to marvel at. Is this any more questions? But you're not answering the question. Oh, this, this is another answering your question. Oh my God! Let's make another Instagram clip so we could be famous again. Next question. Kyrie, basketball related. Mm-hmm. See, you see, half in, half out, man. Half in, half out. And again, the water to you. How about Shai? You know, 
He, he don't let the cat out of bag, man. Meow. You see that? <laughs> he don't let the cat out of bag. You know, this word has reached the gates of the nobles. All right. You know, even these so-called stars. Again, if one knows, they all know. Isaiah 62 and verse 6. I have set thee. I have set, it's like a watchman upon thy walls. O Jerusalem, which is a people before it's a place. Which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Like right now. Hey, but was it five o'clock in the morning? Who I don't yeah, it don't matter what time it is. It's always that time. You see that? <laughs> it's always that time. It's always that time, man. Thou shalt meditate day and night on these scriptures, man. Yeah, how about you, y'all child? You go sleep and he puts them downloads up in your up in your mind. And he lets you know what you're going to do that following day. You know, we always say, Lord willing. Isaiah 62, verse six. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh, not Yahweh. Keep not silence. OK, see that? It said, keep not silence and give him no rest till he established until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. That's that new Jerusalem coming down with the new bodies, man. You know, me and my old broke down self. These bodies are trash, garbage, absolute garbage. But he's but he's purifying He's purifying us through the fire. You see, these bodies are nothing. It's and you know what does scripture say? Uh, uh, the flesh profit of nothing. You see, it is the spirit that quickeneth, right? It's the spirit that quickeneth, man. That's what's got us going hard for y'all, about him, y'all, child, man. Turning the hell up in twenty twenty two. You see, turning all the way to hell up, man. Oh boy, this is beautiful. Kahalal Yahabashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 8 The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies. And the sons of the strangers shall not drink thy wine. For the which thou hast labored. You see that? Didn't we we built this city on rock and we built this damn we built this place man and woe to this place it means destruction death woe to this place man we built this we built this place the scripture said jacob is the former of all things man see that all right but they gathered it's a so lucky but they that have gathered it shall eat it and praise the lord yahweh and they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness, man. You see? That's beautiful. These scriptures are beautiful. All right? You know, so I, I'll leave it right there. That's all I had on that. You know, I, I just woke up and uh, you know, I saw the video that the beloved brother put up there. And I said, you know what, man? That's a whole nother lesson right there. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go. All right? Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, man. So, hey, man. Just been a, you know, just just another lesson. And hopefully it was edifying through uh, through the spirit, all oh, the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let's go. Let's go. Never falter. Never quit. Keep pushing. Damn this place. Chant it down every chance you get. DTA and Kwame Yasharala. Wa Ababa Ball. Boom. Shalom.